Hello everyone and welcome back to Realism Overhaul Sandbox in Kerbal Space Program 1.8.1. In a recent video I featured this Boca Chica terrain and explained that it is imperfect uh, but uh, somebody still wanted it so I will release it in this video along with the Edwards Air Force Base terrain that I have. These are Kerbal Constructs ploppables or statics and uh, as you can see, it's sort of clipping the space center a little bit, and it's a bit complicated, but I'll explain how to use it and how to place it. I can't give you the placement file that I have because that highly depends on which version of the real solar system textures you have. And so if you have a different set of real solar system textures, it will appear different to you. Uh, it will be clipping terrain in some places and other places not. Uh, so that is a complication. So rather than just give you mine, which would require the highest uh, resolution real solar system textures, I think 16K, I'm going to just show you how to plop it so that it's a little bit more usable. Uh, so in a tracking station, especially for Boca Chica, oh, I'll do Boca Chica first and then I will do Edwards Air Force Base. But the first thing you'll want to do is go to Brownsville. Uh, so that we are focused on that and then the second thing you're gonna do is go to the VAB and bring out a vehicle of some kind you won't have this terrain here I'll explain in a sec you'll have the default terrain at that point and you will need Kerbal Constructs this is entirely dependent on Kerbal Constructs and its ability to plop things in places uh, so I have this launch here and we'll bring it outside okay so in order to bring up the Kerbal Constructs dialog, you have to be in the right place for actually positioning the thing that you want to position. And this is huge, as you can see, uh, but it is also scaled up. So Control K uh, is what uh, is the key that I use in order to bring up the Kerbal Constructs statics editor, which is what we have here. You'll see Spawn New, and it'll have all the statics that your install currently has. And if you have put my mod in properly. Uh, I'll, it'll be a zip file in the video description. It'll have game, da get game data and the whole folder structure proper. Uh, you should see a Boca Chica X terrain. This Boca Chica terrain is an old one that was much smaller. I decided that I needed a more expansive one. So the one I'm giving you is the Boca Chica X terrain and then there's also going to be an Edwards Air Force Base terrain and their category is going to be Boca Chica and Edwards Air Force Base. You can see the Cat and Escape Canaveral uh, KSC terrain right there. Uh, if you wanted to plop that around and uh, so there are other little things uh, statics that you can plop as well and uh, there's a mod that adds a bunch of them too but we're looking at the local instance there's a train I've already got here and let's see the parameters of this terrain first you'll note that when I originally made this I made it downscaled so it is smaller than the full scale of the terrain and so we need to scale it up. So you can see the model scale I have is 43. You might want to check whether that's a good one for you but uh, it fit the existing terrain the best so that's why I picked it. That doesn't mean it's proper. Now uh, when we do spawn a new one so uh, here we have the existing one. I'll just close this so it's not bothering us. But let's say I wanted to spawn a new one. Okay, mm and so... Okay, so now we have a new one. Okay, and I can move it off to the side here. <laughs> and so it's really small, and then we can increase its size. We can make it like the whole world. Uh, but here, this seems to be the opposite way around. It's upside down. So we are going to want to yaw. Yaw is to rotate it around. And so we get right side up and we basically want it 180 degrees. That's a factor of how I made it in, in Blender, I suppose. And then scale up and then you might have to tweak the rotation a little bit. You can see. And then it'll be floating sort of maybe a little bit too high or too low. Uh, basically the way I made it, it's got edges that curve downward so that it can clip the terrain at the edge and also on the coast you can see there's sort of a coastal wall here so that the water can go above it and so we want to move it on down. Again I'm doing it offshore here so this is in fact down or you can use the arrows just like a normal key you can see it. So just as it is 
uh, getting some water onto the watery locations. That should be fine. Otherwise, there's not much of a mesh that I made here. It's, it's just as it is. It's basically flat. And if you want to be able to land on it, you want to enable colliders. It does have a collider and you can enable the colliders. It is up to you whether you think that that's safe or not. If you don't enable the colliders, then what you will uh, collide with is the underlying terrain, the stuff that's not visible. Uh, so the normal terrain. Uh, and uh, with Katniss Cape Canaveral, it ends up being water there. But yep, so you just position it like that uh, to your satisfaction, given the terrain textures that you have, and that would be best. And the reason that uh, giving you mine won't work necessarily is because you might have the hills be a little bit different. In fact, you might be able to get a little bit better than I do if it's flatter in your area. You might be able to move it down a little bit more or less. And yeah, so I'm going to delete this instance. You can have as many as you want. If you want another one up the coast, that's fine. Uh, so that is the Boca Chica terrain here. So the, the scaling I have is 43 and you saw me rotate it. And the troublesome factor here is actually the KSC and getting it to look right with the KSC positioning. And that's another thing that it will depend on your particular RSS textures, whether it'll look right or not. Because the KSC is going to be positioned so that it's placed on the, on the surface. It's basically tied to the surface. And that elevation is going to be different depending on the RSS texture files that you have. The height map. So anyway, that is how to plop this. I'll just uh, get on to Edwards Air Force Base, which is a slightly more complicated situation. You see, for Edwards Air Force Base, we don't have an actual location at it. And so we have to fly out of Vandenberg. And so you're going to have to take a plane, fly out of, fly out of Vandenberg towards the location of Edwards Air Force Base. And you can see I've got an Edwards spawn right now, but there's a location here, and then Vandenberg's over here. Uh, it decided to disappear Edwards right now, but anyway, uh, sorry, Vandenberg right now, but Vandenberg's over here, Edwards is over here, so you fly towards it, land at the location, and then you'll be able to plop it. Let's take a look at the spawn location that I have, and again, we'll bring out some craft in order to take a look at it. So, if you already have the location set up, you'll be able to use Kerbal Constructs to select the launch site here. So here we have Edward's spawn, but we have to open the base. Sometimes it doesn't stay open for some reason. Set as launch site, and now this is going to launch from my Edward's spawn point, and we'll talk about how to make a spawn point in a sec. Okay, so the spawn point was set here. This is the Edward's Air Force Base terrain, uh, similar to the Boca Chica one, it's got sort of um, a tilt to the edges so that it can clip with the terrain properly, uh, make it less like a floating plateau, right? We don't want it to be floating above the terrain, so it's necessary for it to sort of go down and act like a hill, basically. This is the way I did it. Is it ideal? No, whatever, <laughs> you know. Uh, but. Anyway, the key here is we bring up the Kerbal Constructs thing. You'll land the plane here because there won't be a spawn point yet. If we take a look at local instances, we see the Edwards Air Force Base terrain, which is scaled up to a factor of 10. And so, really, the Boca Chica one should probably be scaled up to a factor of 40, if I recall. I did 43 because it was a better fit, but it should be an even number, naturally. And uh, this is a factor of 10. And you can see the coordinates, but it's not exactly the right coordinates for Edwards Air Force Base. But then again, Edwards Air Force Base is huge. It's got all these uh, runways that are ver barely visible in the dry lake bed and everything. So we've got, it's not just these runways after all. And so it's sort of a judgment call where you place it. The best thing to do is to find a relatively flat location, right? You don't want to try and place this terrain where those hills are up front. Because, first of all, that would be inappropriate. There's, it's definitely not a hilly area that Edwards Air Force Base is in. And also, it will mess up the terrain anyway, because those hills will clip through. Uh, we, we can spawn you one to demonstrate that. So anyway, the model scale is 10. And then we can see this universal spawn point. And this is where our plane spawns. And so you can spawn one of those as well. Those are also statics. 
uh, we want to get rid of the category and what we want is the spawn point universal spawn point probably type it in figure it out there it is universal spawn point so that will create a new spawn point that you can name you don't need to do that if there's already a KSC there but if there isn't a KSC then well, let's say we wanted to be able to spawn at this other runway so you'll place it here okay and obviously we don't want it floating in the middle of nowhere because they snap to terrain uh, but that's actually the terrain underneath note so position I'm not gonna go through the details it's part of the Edwards group uh, make launch site and then you can name the site and then uh, get the max vessel length width, all that stuff and the rotation uh, note the forward and right markers so we might have to rotate this uh, that didn't work out very well uh, let me just delete this instance for a second let's take a look at the one I already set up well it doesn't seem like it's really necessary uh, uh, yaw 60 as long as it the heading is right I guess I forget how I do, sometimes I don't remember how I do these things <laughs> this is one of those times because forward is indicating there but clearly when we spawn the plane spawned in the right direction you might have to tweak the yaw to test what might work and what might not but if we edit launch site we can see Edward spawn and I typed in 99 all this stuff and uh, SPH site type runway RW is runway okay and then you can uh, change the category of that and so forth so that's how you create a little spawn point that you can access in the VAB or SPH in the Kerbal Constructs menu and yeah otherwise just go spawn you find the right group so we want Edwards Air Force Base so now there's another Edwards Air Force Base but it's uh, one-tenth the size and again if you place it in a bad position it's gonna sort of clip through part of it and then not clip through part of it this is flat terrain here but you can see you don't want to have that happen and so that's why I placed it where it is instead of necessarily the exact same coordinates that it ought to be so that's a complication I'll delete that one and of course I yeah, go ahead and check Google Maps to see what the orientation is just to make sure you've got it oriented properly and north is north and everything alright so anyway the links link will be in the video description it requires Kerbal Constructs it technically doesn't require anything else I mean you could plop these on Kerbin too uh, if you wanted to there's no limitation like that though trying to find a sufficiently flat location on Kerbin for this one in particular might be difficult but yeah so it's a fairly large thing though uh, each terrain is more than 100 megabytes it's not the worst thing ever though I tried to keep it down uh, you can see the texture quality isn't great if I wanted to increase the texture quality it'd be a much bigger thing it'll be a factor of four or more for each level of detail that we wanted extra so it is what it is it is imperfect but it was what I could do at the time so with that thank you for watching hope you enjoyed this video if you did please do press like if you have any comments or suggestions please leave them in the comment section below and I'll see you next time